There are two main things that I have found in my years of cooking that are staples for culinary success. Um, you know, by culinary success, I mean cooking at home. Preparation is everything. Now with this particular video, it is very beginner, there isn't much prep, and I'm not going to be showing the other dishes that I'm making alongside with the French toast. So step one in preparation is to preheat your griddle to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a griddle, you're fucked, can't make this, sorry. The second thing I learned is ingredients are everything. Starting with the bread. Of course, when you go into the bread aisle at your grocery market, you're gonna see things that might say no, Texas to toast, <laughs> or maybe you don't even know and you just grab some like white bread. You know, I, I don't know what level of cooking you're at, but those breads, even the Texas toast, I have found to be too thin while making French toast. So this bread is called challah bread. And it's not usually in the typical bread aisle. You would have to go to the bakery section of your supermarket and that's where you will find this. Crack that egg, lop it in, and give it a good beating. Nice one. Beep, 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 beep. I made that up not to be struck for copy, right? Thanks. The next important ingredient for my French toast recipe is to use heavy cream. I like the thickness of the heavy cream and I think it adds a richness that you're not going to get from milk. Next ingredient up is the vanilla extract. You can just pour a capful. Why unnecessarily dirty dishes you don't want to clean? Last but not least, you're going to add the cinnamon. So just put on a fair amount. I'll let you be the judge. I like to add more than less. And here we have Mama being pathetic. She is a fiend when it comes to food, if you couldn't tell by her hamster body. Such a brat. So when you go to dip your bread slices into the mixture that we made, I do quick in and out both sides. A lot of times if people let bread soak in the mixture, it just means it's gonna have to cook for even longer, which usually results in an overcooked outside and a soggy inside. And I cook it around three minutes each side. I like my French toast to have some dark, crispy bits. And be prepared to not even want to cut the toast. You're just gonna shove it all in your mouth. It's that good. Here is the final result of the French toast. Forgive my husband for not knowing how to properly cut the toast for a video. He um, ended up smashing it with his fork. Took away some of the fluff that I would have liked to share with you as a final result. Uh, I'll make sure he gets better. <laughs> mama wants bacon, but she can't have any. You're so cute, Mama. <laughs> Thank you. Mm.